Oh, yeah. If the <laughs> big move at an office that could change the way a lot of Americans work, a tech company in Wisconsin is offering to implant implant tiny microchips into its employees. What? There's no, but no. The chips, <laughs> the chips could allow people to unlock office doors, uh, make purchases. Rebecca, come on uh, here. So many questions about this, Robin so and Michael. Good morning. We asked a lot of them. This is the first American company to ever try this. One week from today, many of the employees, including the CEO, will voluntarily have the microchips implanted into their bodies, and they're calling it I'm not kidding here, a chips and salsa party. Oh. <laughs> this morning, like a scene straight out of 007. So you can keep an eye on Employees at one Wisconsin tech company, Three Square Market, willingly making that fantasy a reality, implanting their own fantasy. bodies with microchips. What did the employees say when you brought this idea to them? Half of them actually within five seconds says yes. CEO Todd Westby, along with 50 of his 80 colleagues, even his wife and kids, preparing to implant these chips. The si no! What? Are you serious? No! Even his wife and kids, 50 of his employees, taking a microchip and having it implanted right here or... Right, you could have it put right in here. Uh, these these are so small, the size of a grain of rice. And it will open doors, turn on their computers. They can even go to the, uh, the they, this is a vending machine company. You can even go down into the cafeteria and buy your food from the vending machine by just wave your hand and it'll come right out of your, it's just like a debit card. So the, the microchip is your debit card. It's also a GPS so in case one of the kids get lost or somebody gets abducted or somebody gets unconscious or something happens, well, you can track them down. That's, that's the story. And boy, everybody's excited. You hear them within five seconds, everybody was saying yes. What? The Bible says, oh, I wrote the book. You guys know this. Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D. Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D. Are you serious? Please. Please, it is a novel. It's based on current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy, all right? And it's a end-time apocalyptic scenario, but it will really break down uh, a situation developing in the end times, especially the implementation of the mark of the beast. Well, let me just tell you something. Here's what the Bible says. This beast system will rise, okay? Okay. And matter of fact, Revelation 12, if you read Revelation 12, the constellation, it's not just the woman who's clothed in the sun, who has the moon under her feet and 12 stars in her crown, making it from the constellations of Virgo and Leo, but it's also an another sign. When you read Revelation 12 and verse three, it says, and there appeared another wonder in heaven, Behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And he, his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And it goes on to tell you that the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent. And it tells you, okay, and now we know that the, that the mark of the beast is found in Revelation 13, the very next chapter. He starts telling you, I saw, a, I stood upon the sand of the sea, this is Revelation 13, 1, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns. It's the same beast. And upon his horns, ten crowns, and upon his heads, the name blasphemy. And then it tells you that there's 42 months, this reign of the beast, the Antichrist, who was wounded and he lived. And then another beast, which is a false prophet, rises with him, has great power. And then you get to verse 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great. I guess that means wife and children. 
Rich and poor, that means the employed and the unemployed. Free and bond, that means those that are in prison or not in prison. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, or six, six, six. The this book, Mark of the Beast, RFID, only available at my website. Okay, it's unbelievable how these things are coming to pass. Uh, it is a powerful read, it, and, and if you Really, it will help you. Current world events, biblical prophecy, an end time apocalyptic scenario, a novel we wrote. It will really, really help you just get a snapshot of how the beast system is rising in this last day. I can't believe just how giggly, how happy, how fun, how excited everybody was about taking this microchip. Folks, we're in the last days. The beast is just, they're going to just giggly. Everybody's just going to be so happy. This is the best thing to do. It's a state of rebellion, a state of euphoric rebellion. And they have no ideal. They have no ideal. Give your life to Jesus Christ. It's happening. It's definitely happening. Are you saved? 